any of those front three numbers catch your interest? I got to tell you, like if, if we're taking a look at those, you know, guys that are in, as we like to say, if the season ended today, numbers, right? Rays would be in, Mariners would be in, and the Blue Jays. Now, there's a couple teams behind them, but I got to tell you, I'm starting to believe the Seattle Mariners. I, I don't want to say they're the truth, Kevin, as if they're going to do damage in the playoffs, but I look at them right now, 51 and 42. Why should they slide off here? Like, okay, you play in a division with the Astros. The rest of the teams in that division, you could beat down, and you could certainly pile up wins against. And they seem to have a formula that's working out. And the joke that we had last year in the 2021 season was, man, Mariners really expected their front office to help them out, but somehow traded Mariano Rivera mixed with Raleigh Fingers at the trade deadline and ruined their entire season. Because, again, grown men were crying in the dugout because a middling reliever got traded to a divisional uh, uh, divisional team. So wow. if we take a look this year with the Mariners at 51-42, and 42, I think what they have, the, what it takes, they're a game up here. But if I'm looking at the teams behind them, I trust the Mariners, if not more than any of the teams behind them here. I think the Mariners, even at a two-to-one price, Kevin, I think they get in the playoffs. I do. Look, I obviously, they are red, red hot right now. And here's the big boost for Seattle compared. <laughs> Kendall Graves, man, man, shout out. A legend oh of the early line. Can we just honestly. go back to like that? You, we have a picture. Yeah. We, when, I'm just, when you talk about early line legends, like, you might be surprised to see Kendall Graveman make the list, but he, he really warrants his spot. Uh, in history. Here's the deal with the Seattle Mariners, though. They have the sixth easiest strength of schedule for the second half of the season. The benefit of not being in the AL East, which actually features all five teams Mm. inside the top 10. Why? Because they all have to play each other the entire way. That's the big difference maker there. So to me, it becomes very interesting. Because if I were to try and tell you, okay, one of Toronto or Tampa could miss. Well, I can't t- try and sell you on Boston making it, who has the second most difficult schedule during the second half of the season. It would require a Guardians, perhaps, or maybe even a Chicago White Sox. Before we get to those teams, I will say, though, Donnie, the minus 500 on Toronto does not feel warranted. It doesn't. I understand it, it, they it. had huge yeah. expectations coming into the year, but... They have not lived up to that billing. Again, you mentioned, yes, Tampa, Seattle, and Toronto would all be in, but the worst record of that group does belong to the Blue Jays. You could absolutely, I think, argue pure value plus 360 on Toronto to miss.